Our story now, though, is with uh, Godfrey Dami, uh, Yebo Adami, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice. Now, why is he unhappy with Samuel Kujita Blackwa? This is the story here. Now, so Godfrey Dami wrote a letter to the public. And he says, my attention has been drawn to a publication by Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa MP on his Facebook page on 21st June 2022 at 11.09 a.m. thus. And he quotes the publication. It is quite revealing to observe that when the National Cathedral was incorporated on 18th June 2019, the then Deputy Attorney General, Godfrey Dami, was registered as Secretary. During that same period, he served on the board of the PPA, which approved Ajayi's irregular sole sourcing contract. So that's the claim that uh, Samuel Kujeto makes against Godfrey Dami. It's a, it's, a fair, it's a clear, clear claim that he makes against him with dates. He says, it is quite revealing that, uh, to observe that when the National Cathedral was incorporated on 18th July 2019, the then Deputy Attorney General Godfrey Dami was registered as Secretary. During that same period, he served on the board of the PPA, which approved Ajayi's irregular sole sourcing contract. Okay. Uh, now, Godfrey Dami continues. The foregoing allegation is utterly false, he says. I note that Mr. Okujeto Ablakwa has since followed up with the said Facebook post with a number of interviews on various media platforms repeating the same or similar allegations against me. Mr. Ablakwa's complete, complete, Mr. Ablakwa's complete dishonest allegations have spared other members of the public to make similar statements about me, either out of ignorance or plain mischief. For the record, I state as follows. Now, if, if, if you understand the defamation suit, you will notice that Godfrey Dame is beginning to ground his defamation in this paragraph because he's saying that it's not just a black one, but because a black one said it, other people have said it. Now, that is going to mount up the, uh, uh, the defamation award if he gets it, and that's what he's really doing. So I'm sure Blackwell's lawyers, if they are watching, they are beginning to see uh, the strategy that Mr. Dami is putting in place. He's announcing that it's not just a black one who said it. He said it on his Facebook page that he has repeated it uh, on several platforms, and because he has done so, other people are talking about it, and now he's mounting the defamation situation because the main uh, case of uh, defamation is how many people have heard the extent of the publication and the extent of the damage, and then the reputation of the applicants, the, the, the plaintiff who is asking for the defamation, his reputation. So that's how defamation is calculated. So let's, let's go on and see what else he's saying. Uh, now he goes to give the facts. He says, number one, approval of an application to single source uh, Messrs. David Ajayi and Associates was granted by the Public Procurement Authority on 13 December 2018. So, uh, Godfrey Dami is confirming that the PPA did grant an approval for sole sourcing for said David Ajayi and Associates to construct the National Cathedral. However, he says that the application or the, the, the grant of that application occurred on 13th of December 2018. Paragraph number two, he goes on. He says, the National Cathedral of Ghana was incorporated as a company limited by guarantee, non-profit making entity on 18 July 2019. David Ajayi's application was approved on 13 December 2018. National Cathedral came into office, uh, into being on 18 July 2019. The National Cathedral, of which Mr. Dami was secretary, um, based on which an allegation is of conflict of interest is being made against him by the Honorable Member of Parliament, uh, Godfrey Dami says... The cathedral was not formed. The cathedral committee was not formed. The cathedral was not incorporated as a non-profit making entity by the time that David Ajayi was being sole sourced. And that can happen, of course. So David Ajayi's sole sourcing was requested, apparently, from the office of the chief of staff to the public procurement authority to grant the government the ability to work with David Ajayi and sole source a design from the cathedral from him. That's quite regular, isn't it? And Dami is saying here, the attorney general is saying here that by the time... The, 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 the sole sourcing was granted on 13 December 2018 when he sat on the PPA as Deputy Attorney General. By that time, this issue of National Cathedral was not incorporated and it was indeed incorporated on 18 July 2019. Therefore, any allegation that suggests that he had participated in the process as Deputy Attorney General and therefore he may have uh, uh, stepped into a conflict of interest, um, slippery slope, is false, inaccurate, and totally wrong. And he's using dates. So 13 December 2019, then 18 July, 13 December 2018, and 18 July 2019. Quite obvious to me, isn't it? Okay, all right. I don't know what it is to you, but you can all share your views uh, on our Facebook page. Good evening, Ghana Official. Our social media uh, interactors are ready to get your message and share with us. All right, let's move on. Number three, he says, quite clearly, 
At the time of the approval by the PPA, on whose governing board I served, in my former capacity as Deputy Attorney General, he confirms also that, yes, he served on the board in his capacity as Deputy Attorney General. No company known as the National Cathedral of Ghana had been formed for me to be the secretary of or have any purported interest in to declare I could not have had a so-called interest in a non-existent company. If Mr. Blackwell had cared to read or examine the relevant documents well, as he should have, this plain fact would not have been lost on him. That's quite hard, isn't it? But that's the point I make all the time. That's the point I make all the time. Digging it up, reading it, getting the facts right. Just as we are about to come into the studio, we have a story. I have to check. It's what? It's past 9 o'clock. I'm calling court officials to check. Did Justice Ekobedin, Ekobedin J publish and sign this ruling? They have not come back, so I will not use it. I wait for them to come back, and they will come back to me with evidence. They will show me the, the photograph to me, the court document signed by him. It is only then that I'll put on the touch screen and go. If you are an honorable member of parliament, facts like that cannot be lost to you, unless perhaps there's another interest. And I don't know whether there's another interest. But if you are a member of parliament, this, the date on which it was formed it cannot be lost to you. Even us, ordinary people, can use... Uh, 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 the RTI to obtain information. I'm much more a member of parliament. Any information will be given to a member of parliament. So you cannot publish something that goes against somebody's credibility in the manner as it was published without actually checking, assuming that Godfrey Dame is telling us the truth, by the way. Okay, let's move on. Um, so in paragraph four, he says, for the benefit of the general public, I hereby indicate that the incorporation status of the National Cathedral of Ghana as a company limited by guarantee uh, makes the company a not-for-profit entity. Please see Section 8.1 of the Companies Act 2019, Act 992, which received presidential accent on 2nd August 2019. The same provision existed under Section 10.1 of the repealed Companies Act 1963, Act 179, which was the law in force at the time of the incorporation. I am neither a registered director or subscriber of the National Cathedral. My status as secretary to the company at incorporation was solely on account of my status as deputy attorney general, and the company was set up by the state in exercise of its full capacity. In net, the registered subscriber member owner is the Ghana Museums and Monuments Board, an organ of state. So he's giving us more information that the registered subscriber and owner of the National Cathedral is a Ghana Museums and Monuments Board, and that's an organ of state. So he's telling us that the government registered the company as a non-profit organization, and that's how he became secretary of it, and that there's nothing wrong with that. In any case, by the time that the David Ajayi matter came to public procurement, the company had not been registered. But he tells us more. Let's move on and see what more he has to say. Paragraph number six. No issue of conflict of interest arises by virtue of my status as secretary to the company. Article 83 of the Constitution prohibits a minister of state from holding any other office of profit or emolument, whether private or public, unless with the permission of the speaker. The National Cathedral, registered as a company limited by guarantee, is a not-for-profit entity. My role as secretary is thus not caught within the ambit of Article 83. In any event, I have never received any emolument in my capacity as secretary to the National Cathedral uh, of Ghana. So what he's saying here is that members of government can hold positions in non, for non, for not for profit organizations. NGO calls you to do that and that you can do it. If you have to hold a position for profit, you have to have the permission of the speaker. That's, that's what he says in Article 80. Okay, let's move on. Seven, these plain facts would have been obvious to Mr. Okujeto Ablakwa, if he had done a little research or inquiry, which he owed a duty to do. I agree with that. Okujeto Ablakwa owes a duty to check his facts all the time before he published as a member of parliament, same as any journalist. Okay. Before rushing to the media with wild and unfounded allegations, for the avoidance of doubt, I state that my role as secretary, not a director or member to a not-for-profit or company, owned by the state does not present me with any personal interest which conflicts with the performance of my functions as a minister. Nine, the record reflects that even in respect of companies limited by liability, profit-making entities, the state regularly appoints public officers, including ministers, to serve as members of board of directors to protect the public interest where the state is a shareholder. Ten, I consider the allegations by Mr. Okujeto Ablakwa malevolent 
and inspired for the simple re- and ill inspired, manipulant and ill inspired for the simple reason that a cursory examination of the facts would have revealed the untruth in them. I call on the member of parliament to retract and apologize to the people for the falsehood he has published against me, failing which I may institute legal action uh, against him. That's what, that's what uh, Godfrey Dami says. Now, that's the, that's the crux of the matter. So, um, he says that he's going to court, and we are asking the question, based on the facts, and if we go all the way uh, to the first paragraph, based on the facts, so Kujetu's uh, main case against uh, Mr. Dami is that whilst he was uh, at the uh, uh, deputy attorney general sitting on the public procurement, and he was also secretary to the cathedral, then they brought a, a document, and the document said, the, there's a sole sourcing request from the chief of staff for Sir David Ajay uh, to become the architect on the uh, National Cathedral. And uh, he, he's sitting there with wearing two caps. That's what Okuja is alleging. Dame is sitting there wearing two caps. Godfrey Dame is uh, attorney general and member of the PPA board. Godfrey Dame is also a member of the cathedral board. Technically, it's a cathedral board who may be asking for this. So Godfrey Dame at one point is asking for soul sourcing and he is approving the soul sourcing. That's what Okuja thought was the case. I have to be fair to him. That's what I think. I will say that that's what he thought was the case. Now, he knows it's not the case. The question is, is he going to apologize and let's move on? Or is he going to take up the challenge and say, okay, let's head to the court of defamation, slug it out, and deal with it? What's your advice to Samuel Kujie to at this stage? Uh, because sometimes we wish our country is like another country, see the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, you can't say anything about anybody and get away with it because when they start a defamation trial, they will finish very quickly because they, they believe in protecting the interest of individuals. So we will look at that. But that's, again, what Godfrey Dami is talking about. We have to learn as a society that the reputation of individuals is important. If you have to puncture the reputation of an individual, you, you must have your facts. You must have the facts correct, and you must present the facts correct. If you do something like this, as Mr. Dami is alleging was wrong, obvious dates, December in 2018, July in 2019, something that one can verify, and you don't, you head to the court of defamation. Hopefully, they rule very quickly. If Mr. Dami says that based on his reputation, he's looking for 10 million CDs, and the court grants him 10 million CDs, some of you have to pay 10 million CDs to him. And if we do that regularly, I think that there will be a bit of sanity because we have a plural media. Now we also have social media. So the sanity is going away. So everybody is talking about everybody. And some people build reputations. I mean, some people don't, but others do. So those who build reputations, the states and the society must protect those reputations so that it becomes attractive for people to go on a, a, a tangent to build a reputation. Young people will see they can build a reputation because they, they know that if you build a reputation, somebody will not sit on... WTFM, and just say something and say, oh, he's a thief, and then that's it. No, if you say he's a thief in England, you have to go to a defamation court and show it. You can't show it, they'll close down your newspaper because they'll charge you five million pounds. And we've seen that happen in England. People have died. Newspaper editors have died and collapsed after court rulings. So defamation is held sacrosanct. People's reputation is important so that the youth can learn to build reputation. So we can no longer sit on some radio and say that, oh, they took the presidential jet to London, the president's children. They went to shop. If they, are, they ask them to pay 10 million cities, after they pay the 10 million cities, they will never say that again. Before they say that, they will get their verified facts. If the president's children take our presidential jet to shop, it's blatantly wrong. And if we know it, we have to say it and we have to call them out. But if it's fabricated, then that's a reputational crisis that you are fostering on somebody. Let's see how the Dami versus Okujito Ablaka matter will end in court. It's now time for a break.